wants he wants to see some typefaces. Yeah, man. Speaking of typeface, <laughs> wait. Yeah, we're back. We're playing Typewriter, the world's least necessary game. By the way, Corinne, I love the smell of your colon. Thank you. Don't you love it? Mm mm. mm. It smells delightful. So you're playing as a, an item of punctuation. I believe we are playing as a colon. Yes. Yeah, So this is. Hence, if you look, if you look, look. Type colon rider. I do like the water effect though. That is this very nice, isn't it's it? It's pretty, isn't it? It's purdy. Yeah. So as you can see there, we're playing a typographic video game. So this is kind of about the history of typography design, yes. I suppose. The history of font, as well. Yes. Why? Uh, why was this game? Is my question. It's actually fun. I guess it's an interesting angle if you are interested in typography. I guess if you're not, then good yeah. luck. Because it's a very game. yeah, it's a very arty game about art by art people and you've got to collect basically what you've got to do it's a platforming game but you've got to go around collecting letters I've got A and B so far so we're doing well good well if we've got enough then we can make an alphabet and therefore profit exactly Whee! oh there's a quill pen yeah man it's called art. very nice so what Sir Corrin is your favourite font my favourite font is the font that I use whenever I'm writing anything, but then I still change it anyway because I feel self-conscious. But I like using Vedana because it, oh, it happens very, to very have... Uh, Web 2.0. Yeah, you know me. It happens to have this distinct advantage of just being weirdly large compared to all the other fonts. For some reason... It's very wide, isn't it? For some oh. reason, it is just about like a point or two larger than all the other fonts at the same size. Which yeah. Which is really odd. And I, the only things I know about it, the name came from the... Um, the combination of the word verdant and the word honor, which was the daughter of the person who made it. Why is it thought to be very verdant? It's a very sort of it's sans serif sort of. I don't know, you know. Non natural looking font. Green, it's nice. Mm. I don't know. It, it doesn't... Interesting. Yeah, what's your favourite font? Oh, well, I, I'm a bit partial to lithograph, as Ooh, a matter of fact. What does that look like? I forget. It looks like this. Here it is on boys the screen. And girls. Everyone's favorite font. If everyone was called Mike. Well, it's because I think it's mostly because like oh, the yeah, N64. That was it. The N64 magazine I used to read when I was a teenager used lithograph for everything, and I thought it looked really super great. I still kind of like lithograph a little bit. All right. Interesting. It's kind of a bit overplayed out because I think it's one of the default fonts that come with a Mac. Oh. I believe. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so, like, hateful and disgusting. They're just, yeah. oh, Max. Max are okay if you like art and videos and music. Yeah, and I guess I like apples. But no, I, like, I guess if you're a designer, then Max are, you know, yeah, the tool to use. Yeah, and you are the tool who uses them. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we're not going to go that far, Garen. No, I'm sorry, that was mean. Uh, I, don't, I I really hate the, the the Mac versus PC thing though. I just don't like how like every teenager seems to have a Mac now. I'm like, why? Like Macs, I like they're really good for art things. Like they've got like the best music and video and stuff programs. Yeah. But they're just, you know. Yeah, I hate I hate with Apple that like their fans are so obsessive that like any other manufacturer who sells a rival product is it becomes like this really like tribalistic thing it's like oh no it's mac versus pc it's yeah. it's ios versus android it's you know what i mean yeah i just don't get it like it's like you just enjoy your product and let me have mine like what the fuck does it matter yeah. you know well the thing i guess the thing that annoys me the most is like with like um macs and stuff the fact they're so expensive for what they are right yeah like in terms of hardware and stuff yeah. it's like I don't know. You're you're paying for the the name, right? You are. That's the problem. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was looking at getting a new phone as well. Because the Samsung one I've got is kind of fucked. I've had like my last three phones have been Samsungs, and, and they've all been fucked up in the in the first year of having them. I need yeah. to stop buying them. Okay. So I was I've been asking around. Uh, I've been asking friends what's a good getting the divot. I have. What's a good you know phone manufacturer? And people have told me to go for Apple, but. I don't like all the like the iTunesness. You know, I don't want to have to sync my shit to a cloud or you know what? It's, yeah, like because I've got an it's iPhone. Janky. I just want to put an MP3 on it and have it be there when I want it, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Have it do what I actually want. I know what you mean, but it's like because I've got an iPhone and it's, it's you know it's it's okay. Like I 
well, I didn't even choose to get it. I just got it because like my mom was like it was my mom's old one or whatever. So she's like just have it, and I'm like, oh sweet. Your I tablet think. is an iPad as well, isn't it? Yeah. Again. So how do you find that? Like, do you find it's it's Appleness is annoying, or is it good? Would you, you recommend you get, getting one? You get used to it being really Apple. It's fine, I guess. I don't know. I haven't yeah. really had a like a new. Ta- I haven't really had a tablet or a smartphone other than that anyway, really. So it's fine. Yeah. But was that it? Did you do it? Yeah, I did Gothic. Man, your colon just went up in the world. I know, right? <laughs> mm. I missed. Yum, I missed. Yum. I missed the ampersand. Unfortunately, I couldn't remember how you got it. Oh. I keep doing that. But yeah, like I, I, I've had I think pretty good because they they do what they do and they're relatively good quality. You know, yeah. I don't know how much they are and I probably wouldn't buy one. But oh, Garamond, Ooh, that's fancy. a classic. So, what's your favourite serif font? Ooh, that's tough. Because there's, I don't know. I mean, Times New Roman is classic, and once I one sure. point one point I did consider just learning to learning to write in Times New Roman and be the biggest <laughs> dork. Oh my god! But then I yeah. thought, no, that's super lame. Plus, people won't be able to tell the difference between one and L. Am I right, people who use Times New Roman? Zing! Oh no, you make that's typography satire. Yeah, I. I, 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 I think that might be too edgy, Corin. Yeah, I can't think of any. I, I can't think of any super exciting ones. What about you? I've always been partial to Georgia. Ooh, good one. You know what I mean? Because it's it's just I a know little what you bit. Mean. It's just a little bit more like if you've decided. Do you ever done that thing where you sort of open a word document and you're like, I'm going to write something like a book. I'm going to yeah. write a story, and then you you look at Times Roman and you're like, No, this is a school essay. I need to like change the font. Yeah. And then you put it in Georgia and you're like, That's totally a book. Yeah. That, that is looks, a book. That looks legit. And Garamond is another one of those things, right? Yeah, man. Whoa. Okay. I've gotten to the point now where I deliberately don't change the font when I'm trying to write something new because it makes me focus on the writing being good rather than being yeah. in you know rather than thinking it's different because of the typography. I know exactly what you mean. I hate that people are like super snobby about typefaces though. Yeah, I don't actually care that much at all about anything. Yeah. Like it's kind of like everyone's like oh Comic Sans Papyrus yeah. whatever. Comic Sans is not a bad font. No, it's just Papyrus you... is not a bad font. It's the, as you were about to say, it's the usage. Yeah, because everyone uses Comic Sans. Well, Comic Sans is used for anything apart from basically it should be used for like signs in like preschool or something, and that's about right. it. And maybe actually comics. Yeah. And Papyrus, I don't know what it's supposed to be used for. But people but... use it on you see it on like birthday cards and shit, and you're Com- like, that I've is seen, not what it's for. I've seen Comic Sans used on like signs in offices, like with professional office people in it. Oh no! And there's yeah. like, Egh. but like papyrus has only ever been used in like Indian restaurant websites. Oh my god! Yeah, every every like Indian takeaway menu has got papyrus on it. Yeah, and it's for like, some reason, look how foreign we are. Even though surely papyrus makes you think of like Egypt yeah, more than anything. For sure. And it's not even Indian. It's just anything like vaguely foreign food. Yeah. They're like, yeah, check it out. Have oh. I ever told you about the um? The Comic Sans Liberation Front. No, <laughs> it's this, I think it's like a fucking Tumblr page or something. But what they do is they kind of they reimagine corporate logos, but in Comic Sans. Oh wow! It's fucking amazing. Like they've done like the McDonald's logo. Oh yeah. And it's just a big yellow Comic Sans M. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. I've seen something like that with like video game covers where they've replaced the entire thing in Comic Sans and clip. Ah. Uh, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, come on, you can do this. I think it's just the, the the problem with Comic Sans and Papyrus speaks to our larger problem, which is that people think typography is limited to like the the twenty fonts that come with the computer. Yeah, you can download more fonts, guys. Yeah, it's like the first thing I do whenever I get a new computer is like find one of those torrents that's like a thousand fonts or whatever. Wow, that's a good idea. You need you, you need options, man. Yeah. Because, like, you know, if you're a designer... I'm going to sound super, like, douchebaggery, but... Yeah. If you're a designer, you, you don't need a font in a hurry. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you're like, I need a decent sensory font... Oh, you, you, you don't want to have to go and Google one up. It's nice to have some options there ready to go. Yeah. Well, I was going to say as well, like, if you're a designer, you want to have fonts that aren't pre-existing, because then people think you haven't tried. Yes. And also, but, guys, design pro tips, be careful about your font uh, licensing... Oh yeah, that's the thing you got to license. People don't realize you can get in trouble. Yes, you can. You, uh, fonts have like licenses for like 
free and commercial projects and stuff like that. So if you use someone's font and then sell something with it on, they can sue the pants off you. Wow. Have you ever had a problem with that personally? I have not, but that's because I'm careful. Like, if there's a font I like and I really want to use it, I'll like I'll modify it. Like, I'll use it as a base and then I'll add serifs and and you know I'll take novels out of it and do things with it, or I'll oh. or I'll draw, I'll like trace over it and do like a hand drawn fucky version of it. Oh, so you just rip people off is what you're saying? You rip people people's hard work off. Essentially, yeah, that's what I do. I'm basically I'm a I'm a leech, right? If I see a living organism and I think I can benefit from its life juice, then I just I suck it till it's dry and I move on. Wow, <laughs> I did I didn't know that about you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, guys, don't rip off artists. No, like there's enough people who do that already. Don't be a scumbag. Yeah, the end. P.S. Who's this guy? I'm guessing it's Johannes Gutenberg. Captain Beardface. Oh no, it's Robert Stn. Yeah, you guessed wrong then, didn't you? I, I guess I I think that was the previous level. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I was like, he's done the Gutenberg press and probably other things, like being German. Yeah. This goes part. Greek anyway, so I fucked up massively. Mmm. Well, thank God it we know what we're talking about. says his name there, so I feel like the biggest chode. Which surely is an oxymoron or something. I feel like typography is one of those things that I appreciate, but I don't really consider myself an expert on. Well, that's why we're playing this game, so we can bone up on it. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like enjoying a, a delicately cooked meal, but not being a chef. Yeah. Like, you can't experience, appreciate it in its entirety, but you know that you like it, and it's good. Yeah. I, I appreciate beautiful orchestral music, but I can't play a violin. Yeah. And you don't, underst- don't necessarily understand the full length of the composition of it. Exactly. Oh, fucking physics. Am I right? Corin, your colon just keeps leaking out the end of your boat. I know. I, I always have this problem at parties. Mmm. <sighs> your balls keep bursting everywhere. I know. <laughs> Should I stop busting your balls? Please. Mm mm. Well, I was hoping these thorns would stop busting my balls too. But... It looks like it's confusing playing as a colon, to be honest. It's totally not. It's fine. I've got Is it? it. Yeah. Not unless you want to go. No, I'm good. I don't really want to play with your colon if I can avoid it. Wow, rude. Well, you know, you I just calls bro- it like I sees it. You've got to help a brother out. Mike, just play with my colon, yeah? Uh, I'm good. I'll go on then. I'm a real bro. Go on then. I'm the real MVP. <laughs> oh. oh. Sorry, you looked like you were sinking a little bit there for a minute. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> get, oh. That, get that Z. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. You've been bifurcated. Um. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I think... doing it. It's coming back around. You're gonna have a nasty. You're gonna have a torsion accident if this keeps. Happening. Oh, they split. I split my colon. Okay, I can't watch any more of this. My colon split okay, apart. Okay, this, this is this is upsetting me. This is upsetting me and my man parts. No, don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got. It. We're, we're done. We're done. Okay. I won't like rip my balls apart anymore. Okay, so join us next time for more ball-related accidents. Yeah. So watch me play with my balls and learn about the history of font. <laughs> Bye. Yum yum yum. Yum, yum, yum. Let's kiss. Love you. Bye. The Greg's do Roy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>